Thorium is a bridge simulation platform used for live-action role-playing. It's commonly used in sets designed to look like futuristic starships, but can be used anywhere that has a local network connection. Each participant using Thorium is assigned a position controlling some aspect of the ship, like engines, weapons, or communications. A separate person, known as the flight director, works behind the scenes to react to the actions which the crew takes and to direct the crew as they follow a storyline. Unlike more action-oriented bridge simulators like Artemis or Empty Epsilon, Thorium is focused on storytelling, role-playing, and teamwork. Thorium has several components that all work together. The bridge controls, the flight director's core controls, the view screen, the sound effects engine, the timeline, automatic triggers, and more. There are a number of terms which I will be using to describe how Thorium works that you should be familiar with. In the context of Thorium, the simulator is the computer representation of the ship which is flying. Simulators consist of systems, stations, decks, rooms, and crew. A flight is an experience which a crew has in a simulator. Thorium provides the ability to have multiple flights running at the same time, pausing flights, and exporting and importing flights. A station is a collection of screens which control the simulator. Stations are typically organized by function. Engines and thrusters belong to the flight control station. Weapons and shields belong to the tactical station, etc. Thorium groups sets of stations into station sets, allowing you to customize how many crew participate in your simulation. You could have a station set for 10 crew or 15 crew, or you could customize your station set to use simplified cards for younger crews and more advanced cards for older crews. The server is the main Thorium program that runs on a single computer that all Thorium clients connect to. The clients request data from the server and send messages to the server to update data. A client is a single computer running a station. To run Thorium, you must have at least one client for every station in the simulation, but you could have multiple clients running the same station on larger simulator sets. A set is a physical space where a simulation happens. It could be permanent and include a bridge, desks for the computers, a sick bay and engineering room, hallways, transporter doors, or anything else that you can think of. Or a set could be your living room and computers for every participant. There is no specific definition of what your spaceship has to look like. Thorium allows you to map the clients in your physical set to simulators and station sets so that you can easily start the ship before a flight by clicking a button and automatically having all of the clients uh, assign themselves to the correct simulator and station. A mission is the set storyline which will be followed during a specific simulation. Missions follow a timeline of events and can provide some level of automation for the flight director in addition to descriptions of what happens at different points during the mission. A card is an individual screen that can be displayed on a station. Stations are composed of multiple cards that can be switched between. It's the basic unit for controls. Stations only display one card at a time with the ability to switch between cards, and a card can be shown on multiple stations. The core is the screen the flight director uses to control the simulation. A, the core screen has several core layouts which provide different functionality or different ways to arrange the flight director's controls. And each individual aspect of Thorium is controlled by its own core component. An asset is a graphic, movie, sound file, or other file which is used in Thorium. Thorium comes bundled with a few basic assets, and flight directors are expected to add any other assets which they might need to run their flights. These developer videos will guide you through the various aspects of Thorium and explain how you can contribute your own ideas and content to Thorium.